have you guys seen the vital milk design challenge video or the giveaway that vital milk is doing well when the announcement came a lot of people are taking part in the challenge and some also have their concerns personally after i watched the video on twitter i had a couple of questions and the two things that came into mind is is it an opportunity for us as designers or is just one of the few exploitations in this video we are going to watch the video together and then we are going to try to bisect dissect and then try to make a meaning out of this announcement video now let's watch the video and let's get back to discussion <laughs> your creativity to our vital lovers out there the tax is simple in your own way design the right on a 250 paper pack in a painting a print or any art medium of your choice note be very creative because the winner's design will be used in producing the next 250 ml paper pack now before we dive into the video this video is not sponsored by vital milk but maybe if you share it they may get to see it and probably they may get to hear our story or our complaints as designers first off like i said earlier we are going to tackle this video from the pros to the cons the announcement video came with a lot of things that we can deduce from the video but we are going to pick just a few of them including the price presentation the winner's prize and all the things that comes with it first off let's talk about the positive in the video it is announced that the first winner is going to get a price of 5000 ghana cities plus 20 boxes of vital milk and their design gets to be used by the next level the next production or the next set of packages for the company again the second winner gets 3000 ghana cities plus 10 boxes of vital milk and the third winner gets 1000 ghana cities plus 5 boxes of vital milk these are going to be some awesome prices but the question you ask yourself is is it really worth it now this may entirely depend on the designer or the person trying to participate in this challenge in as much as people are expressing their dissatisfaction with the final reward and all that comes with it this could also be an opportunity for every designer out there to gain recognition and enter into the limelight in the sense that once you are able to emerge as the winner for this competition or this challenge you most probably would be able to come into the limelight and you could even get further collaborations with other brands or a brand like vital milk don't get it twisted vital milk is a very big brand if you are able to win this design challenge and your design is used for their next set of packaging this is a great achievement and there is a high possibility that you may even be able to work with them later in in the future again even if they don't contract you to work with them later in the future this is an opportunity for you to get seen by other brands or other big brands or other related brands that could possibly work with you as well the thing is most of us are partaking in design challenges that they didn't even come with any rewards okay so if you are an upcoming graphic designer or if you have the spare time or if you feel like this is not beyond your limit or this is not a disrespect to your craft why not you may want to give this a chance however there is a valid argument that needs to be made about the compensation of this design challenge you see designers invest a lot of time effort and creativity into crafting some of these things or as you say some of these designs yet the prices seem to be disproportionately small as compared to the value that is going to bring to the brand in the video it is made to believe that the winner's design is going to be used for the next production of the vital milk 250 ml boxes and if you look at the amount of sales the amount of profits that the brand or vital milk as a company is going to make from this design i think a price range of 5000 ghana cities is too small i think it's time brands and organizations appreciate the value that designers especially people like product designers bring to their business or their company you see in as much as we are trying to build portfolios in as much as we are trying to sharpen our skills and participate in these challenges we shouldn't also overlook the importance of the compensation so now the question is should you partake in this challenge or not well as you say the answer depends entirely on you for someone who is a graphic designer who has a lot of projects on them who is taking like thousands of cities or dollars working with other clients i think this is not a design challenge for you on the other hand if you are also just coming out 
or you are starting out you don't have a lot of projects you want to sharpen your skills you want to build your portfolio then you can give this a try because in this economy winning a challenge of 5000 ghana cities plus all the exposure that you're going to get is a very good way to kickstart your career you don't know who would be watching you don't know any other brand that would be watching i've seen designers who have taken part in this challenge and submitted their works some of them are awesome some of them well we need to talk about that later if you are going to take part in a challenge like this you need to also take into consideration all the risk and the rewards and the things that comes into it there are some people that are going to just do this for the fun of it or they just want to partake in it or they just want to practice what they've learned and there are others who really need the 5000 ghana city so they are going to put their all in all into this and the third category which is going to be people who are designers who feels like this is a total disrespect to their craft or their creativity and therefore they are not going to take part in this challenge for any of these reasons that you decide to go with it is fine with you but then you should understand that anyone that you choose has the risk the pros the cons and what you stand to lose so yeah this vitamin design challenge presents both an opportunity and challenges for the designers out there and if you want to take part in it you can of course go to Vitamilk's Twitter. This video is not sponsored by Vitamilk. But then maybe if you retweet this and if you tag Vitamilk, they may possibly see this and maybe sponsor the next video. But then feel free to take part in this challenge if you're a designer out there. Who knows, your design may be picked and then you can stand a chance of winning 5,000 Ghana CDs plus other cool prizes and all the exposure that comes with it. I've personally not taking a decision yet whether i'll be joining this or not but in case i decide to join i'll definitely share my design with you and probably share a tutorial on how i came up with that as well and of course if you decide to take part in this challenge because of watching this video let some know that you came out of this video so that maybe you know they may sponsor the next video but all in all let me know your thoughts in the comment section do you think that this is an opportunity or an exploitation I'll read your comments and if you have any questions too you can leave it in the comment section i'll be there to answer all your questions thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and you see bye